Hey everyone, it's Jenny. Welcome back to my channel. Yeah, I'm not gonna start it off like that. <laughs> it might be really weird that I am posting today instead of Sunday. Um, if you don't have my Instagram, the link is down below. But yeah, I did post that I won't be having a video this Sunday. Um, there was a lot going on in my life. I'm not trying to make this like a soppy, you know, like a sad, trying to make you feel bad for me kind of video. It's not like that at all. It's just life, life really hit me hard last week. And um, your girl's just going through it, you know? Um... Man, I want to, this is not how I wanted the video to go. Yeah, guys. Just going through some stuff with life and I told myself that I wanted to, you know, get a video every week, but it's been really hard lately. <sighs> so I wrote it down. So the stress of the wedding is getting to me. If you guys been watching my videos, you know, since I started, I've been saying that my wedding is coming up. And, you know, right at this time, I have about, I have about like two months left until the wedding. And, you know, I, I just hope, I just hope that everything turns out the way that I want it to. I know there's a lot of people telling me that, you know, you can't. As much as you try to make your wedding perfect, um, there's just things that aren't going to go the way that you planned it to be. So I just want this to be so memorable, like so perfect, but I'm just looking forward to the day where me and Jimmy are married and happy that I get to celebrate that day with my fiance, Jimmy, and we're uniting pretty much our, our love. You know, so I'm just going to be so happy that day and, you know, everything that I'm going through right now is going to be worth it because I get to marry my monkey. One thing that really hit me last week was my photographer. You know, I booked out my photographer last April in 2019. It was super early on because I wanted to make sure that I checked that off my list. Um, the photography is very important to me on the wedding day. I want to be able to look at back of my photos and you know like say oh my god like that day you know like that I don't know just the photos are very important to me and I wanted memories pretty much and it's been a couple months and I haven't heard from my photographer um, and I was just wanting to follow up with them and make sure that everything is okay if there's gonna be a final consultation or anything before the wedding day um, I emailed the photographer, she didn't respond, so I emailed the guy that pretty much handles like the contract and everything. So I followed up with him and he seed her on there as well. Um, just asking like, hey, what's up? How you guys been? Making sure that we got everything figured out for the wedding. I got a text message back from them and they pretty much told me that the main photographer will not be available for your wedding day. I was just shocked. I'm like, are you kidding me? The main photographer is not available for the wedding. Like, I, I booked you last April, you know what I mean? Um, he told me that he'll check with her, with her schedule, and pretty much she got a new job fall 2019. But they didn't decide to tell me until I followed up with them. I was just like, are you kidding me? This is ridiculous. Like. How is it that you guys wait until now to tell me when I follow up with you? I was very, very, very aggravated, you know? On top of that, we booked our photo booth through them as well. And they told us that they sold the photo booth and they no longer have it. We have two months until our wedding day. And this is what they, this is what, you know, they throw at us. There was no type of communication that she got a new job, that she'll be traveling a lot. There's a chance that she's going to be, you know, unavailable for the wedding day. The photo booth could have told us that you sold it. Um, 
just pretty much just leaving us in the blue. The client actually reached out to you. Um, it's pretty ridiculous what they did. Um, very unprofessional. And all they said was, oh, you know, all I could say is, I'm sorry. Didn't seem like they were genuine about it. He said that he will be the main photographer. This is pretty much like the count manager. Uh, I don't know what type of photography that he does. He said he does photography. He said that he's done it for years with the main photographer. But he's not the main one. Not usually. So for him to step in to do be the main photographer as well as an additional photographer because we hired two. How am I supposed to trust you? How am I supposed to trust you that you'll be there the day that, you know, the day of our wedding? How am I supposed to trust that you guys were going to show up on time or get the photos that we want? I mean, there's there's just this trust issue now, you know what I mean? Um, he said that, oh, uh, yeah, I'll give you the full refund if you want to find a different photographer. I'm like, you give your... Are you kidding me? I was so pissed. I was like two months before the wedding and you throw all this at me. You know what I mean? I I was livid pretty much. I was just like, you're talking to me. We're having a meeting the next day. I literally broke down that night. I was so mad. And honestly, I I couldn't do it. I couldn't I couldn't keep that photographer and trust him that he'll be there for my wedding day it's a very important day to me and Jimmy and it is what it is like so the next day I pretty much told him like hey we're not moving forward with you anymore and you're giving me a refund back cuz I'm done with you and it is what it is good luck to you but I don't know how your business is gonna run if you're gonna do that to your clients you know we're done with the photographer. We actually found another photographer. She seems like she's very nice and her personality is, you know, fun. And um, I'm hoping that everything works out. Uh, I told her the story of my photographer. She understands and we're just going to go from there. I'm just hoping and praying that everything just goes smoothly because I, I can't really, I can't deal with any more. So yeah, that's what happened with my photographer and... It's been a lot on me because I spent all day trying to find another photographer, making sure that they're available for that day, making sure that this is their full-time job and they don't have another job on the side where it would affect their, you know, main main job, which is being a photographer, if that was your main job. Like, if it wasn't, a heads up would have been great, you know what I mean? But nothing. I'm not going to put up their names because I'm not shady like that, but who knows, one day, maybe. So my manager pretty much got fired recently. Um, actually, I found out on Thursday. I don't want to touch base on it too much because I am still at this company and it is someone's life. Um, and I don't want to put it out there of what exactly happened. It was bad. He's not a citizen in the US, so he was here on a working visa and it was going to expire in two months and um, he was still trying to figure that out and yeah they let him go I just gotta get past it and I'm hoping that he will too and just learn from this incident and just go from there um, I appreciate for or what he's done for me in my career um, as an HR professional um, but there's certain things that shouldn't happen and happened so all I can say is good luck to you and I hope that everything goes well with you and yeah that's all I'm gonna say about that since he got fired a lot of things is now put on me um, I'm still new in my HR career path so there's a lot for me to learn there's a lot of functions that happen around the time of my wedding that is just stressing me out I know there's so much things to do and yeah work is not <laughs> going as planned either but I'm gonna work through it and
survive somehow. So, um, I was talking to my sister and my friend about therapy. They were saying that it is a good source. I was thinking about it myself. Um, I'm, I mean, I was thinking about it for years before where like, oh, maybe I should see therapy. And this is when I was like getting bullied and stuff like that and going through like a toxic relationship. Um, this is before Jimmy, okay? But, um, yeah, I was thinking about getting therapy. I don't think that you have to be going through something or have an issue or a problem for you to go see a therapist. Um, I don't, I haven't gone personally, but um, I know people that have and I think it's something that I should try. Um, I don't have anything against it, so I think I want to look into getting a therapist or going to therapy. I have a program called the Employee Assistance Program at work where you get some free sessions, so why not utilize them? Um, yeah, I think I need to go to therapy and just talk to someone. I know that I have friends and Jimmy and my family and stuff like that to talk to, but I think just hearing a different perspective may enlighten me a little bit more. Like I said, my mental state is <laughs> kind of like all over the place right now and I think it could be beneficial, you know? So yeah, I didn't mean to make this video long at all. I just wanted to give you guys a quick update. Um, again, I'm still a small channel so I don't have like the community tab or anything or um, I don't utilize my Twitter as much. Update you guys on like if I'm having a new video or not. So I just wanted to put a video out there real quick and just keep you guys updated. Um, I'm gonna come back on Sunday, I promise, with a new video. Um, I'll be back to myself, hopefully. I just needed this time to just, you know, get through it. <laughs> Alright guys, well, I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!